Hi guys, uh, this is Aram from Elichem. Um, I've got some exciting stuff to show you. Uh, a lot of you have been following the journey of our monocast, our single part artwork resin uh, that we've been working on the last few months. Um, today I have the latest update, or the latest version of this prototype product and we're going to do some basic tests with it. We're going to pour a clear coat over this prepared artwork board and then also we're going to work with the resi tint and the resi tint max which are pigments in our range as you can see i've already i've already placed them in the cups ready to mix with the resin so we'll check dispersion rates we'll check how the the resin uh, adopts the pigment and what type of finishes we can get from that so it's going to be good let's have a look okay let's open up while I'm pouring, those of you who don't know what monocast is, um, I'll pour here a little bit closer to the camera. Monocast is an attempt to provide a one-part resin. Uh, so there's no mixing, um, no stirring, no measuring required. Literally just open the bottle and pour. So that's, that's the theory, that's what we've been working on the last few months. So immediately I like the viscosity, I think it's looking very, um, very very similar to Mastercast in the fact that it doesn't run everywhere. It's gently creeping outwards, um, just letting it flow under its own gravity. So first of all, yeah, that, that looks encouraging. I see one air bubble, big one, so we may have to attempt to pop that shortly. Okay, so resin's looking good, it's down. I'm just gonna take a heat gun and Yep, the bubbles are popping, we're going to make it a little bit stronger. So that's also a good sign that we can get the surface completely flawless. So the bubbles pop relatively easily. Next step while that is curing is to pour some resin into our pre-pigmented cups. So we'll do a little bit of white. And I'll run it into purple. Let's bring this closer and then straight into turquoise. So, and we'll give it a stir and see what happens. Okay, resin in the cup with pigment, and here we go. Yep, that's really gone very quickly. I see the pigment has, you can see that there has dispersed rapidly into the resin. So let's give that one a mix. Let's move on to the dark purple. Same thing, it's immediate color change. So that's very positive. And then let's do white. Use a couple of drops, three or four drops from the resident uh, acrylic inks, acrylic pigments. And yep, white's looking good as well. So the next video we'll do a short pour. Okay, so in the break I laid some purple and I'm going to add some white just next to it to see how they merge and how they interact, the two colors. Uh, I also dropped a bit of Resi Blast into the purple. Some of you know, a lot of you know what Resi Blast is, but I dropped a few drops into the purple. Right, now let's put our turquoise and run that maybe next to here. In the meantime, this clear puddle we did has moved out very nicely and it's got a really nice edge to it. I'd say it's about one to two millimeters thick. I'm going to leave it that, that depth. Okay, so just going to lay the final line of turquoise in here. Um, if you can get the camera close, you can see these lovely cells that have developed by themselves purely from the white interacting 
with the purple. Um, the purple had a bit of resin blast in. I'm going to pass some heat on very quickly just to pop the bubbles on the surface here. You can see how easily and quickly they disappear. Very encouraging. Right, I think it's time to step away. If you can have a look at the clear here, there's a fantastic domed height. So it's really holding the surface very well and it's not seeping off. Really happy with the dome that we've created here. Let's see how it cures off and let's put a time on it and come back.